the genre-defining classics of the original Grand Theft Auto trilogy are just few days away from being released, so it's time to hear everything you need to know. First up, your experience playing the trilogy might not be the same on every platform, so here are the main differences. Currently, the price for every version is the same wherever you buy the game. However, if you decide to buy the game for PlayStation 4 you will get a free upgrade for the next generation of consoles which includes 4K resolution and a higher frame rate. The same thing also applies to Xbox One and Xbox Series. Playing the game on Nintendo Switch will bring you touchscreen camera zooming as well as gyro aiming. If you decide to go with the PC version, you will be able to use DLSS, but remember that you can only purchase the game via Rockstar Games Launcher. We still don't know a lot about the release on mobile devices except it's coming in the first half of 2022, so you will have to wait some more time for that. Don't forget that you might be eligible to get only one of the games for free if you are a Game Pass or PS Now subscriber. Starting November 11th Xbox Game Pass subscribers can play GTA San Andreas as part of their subscription. PS Now subscribers will be able to play GTA 3 starting December 7th. The Definitive Edition will also have a physical release coming to stores on the 7th of December 2021. As some of you probably already know there was also a GTA related announcement at last Facebook Connect. Take a look. There's one project that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, this is one of the all-time greats, and we've been working for years to bring it to Quest. I'm excited to announce that the Rockstar Games classic Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is in development for Quest 2. This new version of what I think is one of the greatest games ever made will offer players an entirely new way to experience this iconic open world in virtual reality. That's it, Mark. I'm moving to the metaverse. All right, thanks, Deb. This is going to be amazing. We don't know a lot about this project. However, last week there was a job listing found on LinkedIn. This listing confirmed that the VR version of GTA San Andreas is being made by Deluxe Video Games, the same studio that worked on LA Noir in VR. Now we need to talk about the main features of the definitive edition of Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. One of the biggest changes are going to be controls, expect them to be more modern and somewhat similar to the ones in GTA 5. Weapon and radio wheel is also coming to the game, selecting weapons and radio stations will be easier than ever. Mini maps will also get a fresh coat of paint, making them more modern and giving us the ability to set waypoints to our destinations. You will now also be able to restart missions, so no more long and boring drives between action-packed missions. The trilogy will now also be compatible with Rockstar Games Social Club. Here are a few images made by one of the users from GTA forums to show us how is that going to look. Just recently, a lot of new trilogy screenshots have been found around the internet. Here are all the images from the PlayStation Store, Nintendo Shop and Amazon. We really like the updated textures, graphics and lightning. With the power of Unreal Engine these three games look better than ever while still retaining that classical look and feel. It looks great, but can your PC run it? These are the requirements. The biggest question we saw around the internet is, what is going to happen to music? Well, one thing is almost sure, the list of music is not going to stay the same. After all these years keeping the same songs would be almost impossible, but we are sure the overall feel of music is going to stay great. While you might miss a song or two, there is a high chance there might be some new songs that you will love. One of the last W questions we need to answer is when. GTA Trilogy is releasing globally on the 11th of November 2021 at 3pm Greenwich Mean Time. If you want to know what time is that on your location check the links in description. We should also mention that by the time you are watching this video preloading process on consoles has already started. So finally, should you pre-order or buy the GTA Trilogy the Definitive Edition? First up, we wouldn't recommend pre-ordering the game. Other than the coupon for the Rockstar Games launcher, there is no point in pre-ordering other than the risk of getting cyberpunked. Should you buy it for $60? 
Yes if you really want to play through the trilogy once again or you never played it before. If you don't care that much about playing these games once again and expect something brand new, this is not for you. This is just a refresh of old games to make them more in line with other games of the third decade of the 21st century so they are not forgotten, but your experience playing them won't be as good as playing the game for the first time. Please don't forget that holidays are also coming and there is a chance of catching a discount for this not so cheap game in a month or two. Lastly, we want to give you a small reminder since we are so close to the release. Please don't trust or download everything you find on the internet. Stay safe. We truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more trilogy content, please consider subscribing. Thank you.